All right, what's up, dudes? Um, so, I did a video about these. The uh, Two Disc Saga Dragon Ball set. I had the complete set, this is from 2003, but their quality is horrible, especially on my, you know, 43 inch uh, 4K television. It really looks bad on there when you stretch those images up, but. Um, the quality is bad, okay? These qual the quality on these suck. And uh, it's, it's very, yeah, it's just, I don't like it. That's how bad it is, it actually bothers me to look up on it. All right, so, uh, after making sure this was authentic, because there's so many counterfeits going around, I got this for $90 free shipping off eBay. It was used, um, it was like from some kind of a little store or something that sells off eBay. They said the customer got it in 2016 and returned it and uh, they put it up for sale. So this is the Blue Bricks. Now, after looking on the internet, everybody kept saying the Blue Bricks had better quality, which they should, because they came out, I think 2009, where this was 2003, or 2003, not 2013, 2003. So you see the front here, we have Goku. Show you the side. We've got Shinron, seasons one through five, episode one through 153. So it's the complete series. We've got the back here. I like the back picture a lot. It says Dragon Ball seasons one through five. The complete remastered Dragon Ball series in one set with exclusive collector card. Explanation. Uh, special features 153 episodes on 25 discs. Marathon Place special feature, which is really nice. Textless songs. Okay, so then the top, it just says Dragon Ball. Um, and then we got the bottom right here, seasons one through five. It says aspect ratio is 4.3. I don't really know why, because it's still, kind of, it's still a little zoomed, um, which is supposed to be. I read that on the internet that people said these were zoomed a little like the orange bricks. Um, in the in the, the GT set, but less zoomed um, as those. So I don't know why Funimation zoomed them a little, but they did. Um, so yeah, this is, and then this side here, you have five seasons, Dragon Ball. So I'll show you what they look like. They're just their art cover. You might have seen them already. They're the same as the ones that were sold individually. And I'll show you the card that it came with, which isn't anything special. So here's season one. They all have the same back art as well. Season one has the card. It's nothing special. It's just a card that it's the same thing as the uh, artwork that's on here. So same thing. Got Goku doing a Kamehameha wave. The back says Dragon Ball. And at the bottom it says not for sale. Uh, toy animation, Funimation, okay, studios. So, inside, this is a part that, uh, it's got the, the disc there, so here's all your disc, they unfold. And this is the part I'm a little disappointed about, which most people probably wouldn't care, but I do, you know, because I'm, you know, I like, I like artwork, okay, I like a lot, so the card's cool. But one of the disappointments here is they didn't include the booklet. So let me just show you all the artwork first. And that's season three. So that was season one. Let me go, there we go, season two. I got Krillin on the cover. Season three, Master Roshi. Season four. This is probably the, my favorite one. King Piccolo. Not my favorite season, but my favorite artwork out of all of them. And then uh, we got a dog Goku. Or, you know, he was like 18. I forgot his age. Um, all right, <clears throat> so what I, one thing is here's an orange brick season three, the Freeza Saga. Now look at this, every one of these, if you got them complete or new, all of them come with this. I know these don't come with those. Uh, I think season one sometimes included one, but they told you to like go online and look at it digitally, uh, get it digitally, which is kind of stupid. but. These books are cool. Like, I would have rather had these booklets in my Dragon Ball set any day over Dragon Ball Z. Because I like Dragon Ball more than I like Dragon Ball Z. That's one. Um, and 
I just think it would they would be cooler character profiles on artwork. Yeah. But I don't know. You see here, it gives you the uh, the heroes profile listings, which is cool. They always get a unique picture. You get the enemies for that season and their profiles and a description. You get some uh, some artwork uh, in them, which is nice. And some of them really have good artwork. This one doesn't have the best. And then it gives you all the episodes with a description of the episodes and a, and a picture of the episodes. I'm more I like them more for the profiles and just the read how they describe the characters. Even I know about the characters. I like to see how they specifically describe them in these little booklets. Um, and I like the artwork, which is really nice. So I'm a little disappointed that the Dragon Ball didn't include those. I think it would have been really suitable for Dragon Ball, but that's okay. So the big thing is the quality. So we have Seasons 1, so episode 14 is the one I used to test uh, the quality difference. And I can say it's big. It is big. It's, it's worth it. Um, worth it a lot. The quality of this is, is the quality of these, and I got these new, is crap. Okay? It's, it's, it's blurry. It's blotchy. You know, around the character's eyes, it looks like the image has been, like, sucked, like, pulled out. It's like, it's, it's, it's weird to explain it's like the it has like this ghostly clear look these blotchy spots that are like on their faces you know around the eyes um just on the overall image it has this this weird like low resolution look um it's really blotchy uh just a lot of it's not the colors and stuff is not smooth now it looks kind of crappy and all these look like that um now the blue box one these which came out a lot you know, obviously they're a lot newer, and Funimation did a lot better job on them, and they look better so far than the orange, the orange bricks, but um, th that look is completely removed. Like, it's really noticeable uh, throughout the episodes, but, you know, it's in every one of the openings as well, so I went and looked at the same location of the video, same spot to compare them, and in this one, it's really prominent, and th in this one, it's just completely gone. So, all that blotchiness has been completely removed. The colors are better. It's more smooth. The image looks a lot better. It's slightly a little, little blurry, um, but it's not, you know it's SD. Um, but the overall quality is a. It's not just a little better. It's a lot better over these 2003 ones. So huge upgrade. Totally worth it. Um, and this is how I'll be watching Dragon Ball from now on. It's like this. Um, I won't be using these anymore. Um, cause I have no need to watch, watch Dragon Ball on those anymore. So yeah, they'll just probably chill on my rack, on my shelf or something. Cause I, I do like them. I do like the way that they all have their individual covers, the way that they have, um, the, the colored stripe, uh, the little booklets, panel that comes with them with the episodes and descriptions. They look nice, but their quality sucks when you're watching them. The quality of these is definitely better. And again, I had episodes one through 13 edited. For the first season, this is the second one, volume two, season two, and all the way up um, from from episode 14 to 153 was uncut. But in this blue box, I get one through 13 uncut. Um, I, I mean, I would like to have the entire Dragon Ball series edited, to be honest with you. I would be fine with that. Um, or uncut, it doesn't really make a difference to me. But yeah, I, I've never seen episodes one through 13 uncut, um, only pieces, so that'd be something new, I guess. But anyway, yeah, that's the uh, Dragon Ball collector's uh, version of the Blue Brick 1 through 5 seasons. And yeah, I like it. I think it looks nice and it's pretty cool. I'm interested, interested in watching it. And, and when I watch it, I'm going to be playing Dragon Ball Origins. I beat this in 2008 and I beat the second one in 2010 when they released. So I'm going to play through, play through those. Uh, from start to finish, as I watch all 153 episodes of original Dragon Ball. Looking forward to doing it. Should be fun. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.